This is your tropical update for Thursday evening, August 17th. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth and boy have things started to get quite active across the Atlantic Basin. Intertropical convergence zone lit up with activity and tonight we have four areas of interest across the Atlantic Basin with development chances ranging from low to high. We'll begin with the newest area of interest, a little tropical wave here in the central Atlantic. It is expected to approach the islands here and now has a low chance of development over the next uh, two to seven days at only about 20%. The two systems behind it, a bit more organized. These are Invest 99 and 98, and medium chance of development with the orange shaded area, first tropical wave, and the second one looking a bit more vigorous, now with a high chance of development over the next week. Still a bit up in the air in terms of the overall impacts to the U.S., but we have plenty of time to watch these three entities. Now closer to home, there is a tropical wave sitting just north of Hispaniola, and that is slated to move into the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, the conditions are unfavorable for development, but once we start moving into the weekend and then early next week, as this moves into the central and western Gulf, some of our forecast models do uh, indicate that there will be an opportunity for this to possibly become something tropical. Tropical moisture forecast, I want you to pay attention to this area. This is the moisture from that tropical wave as it crosses the Florida Straits and then moves into the Gulf. You'll start to notice some areas of purple developing, which would indicate uh, generally an organizing system. Most of our global models are in pretty good agreement that this will continue on a westerly track, so I doubt this is going to really be a factor to our part of the Gulf Coast. The other big national tropical story is now major Hurricane Hillary in the Pacific. This is going to take a rather unusual track as now that clearly defined eye is cleared out. This is expected to reach category four intensity as it approaches Baja California and then race north and look at the track into Southern California, where we could foreseeably see hurricane force wind gusts as a result of this thing, perhaps down towards San Diego. But this will be a major rainmaker for California and also for the western states, perhaps as far north as Oregon and eventually Washington. Remember, you can always keep track of the tropics all season long by visiting our hurricane map room. You can go and check it out under the weather tab of WKRG.com.